hi everyone in this video we are going to see how to create a navigation action in business central before we proceed i would like to show you that this is my github page so i'll be uploading all the uh, code whichever i'm discussing in the video here you can find it for your reference and this is my blog you can uh, uh, find the detailed instructions in a written format here in my blog i'll be uploading this every uh, uh, every month twice a month um, okay so you can follow my blog for the updates so let us directly go to the code so the previous in the previous video i have discussed about how to, what is action and uh, what are the types of action how to create an action in a page and in this video i'm going to so show you how to create an action that is a navigate action okay so i'm just proceeding with the uh, continuing with the previous uh, uh, videos code okay this is the code which we have tried in the previous video so you have to write the um, any type of action like we have discussed about the processing action that is an action menu navigation action or creation new document creation or report action so all these actions you have to create under the actions block okay this code under this code you have to create so here you can see that you have already created the under the area processing okay so if you want to add some more uh, uh, action under the processing under the uh, action block then you can simply go here and add an another action here give the name for that and do it okay that is possible but if you want to create a another type of action for example as this is a processing action right if i want to create a report action then i have to do it outside this area block inside the action block and outside this area block okay so here your area block is uh, uh, is stopped so i want to create an area under this you can go and create a another action so we are going to create a navigation action right so i'm just clicking navigation and under this you can uh, just uh, give the action name whatever it is okay so under this you have to give the action name any name you can give so now i'm just going to uh, navigate to the customer card so i'm going to give the customer okay customer is the name of my action so i'm just giving customer and under this you have you can just specify some other uh, basic properties like application area is equal to all whatever the properties you want you can just you do it about the text caption okay so you can write customer details okay whatever it is you can write it and uh, now if i if i click this customer okay this is the navigation link which i'll be getting what it should open it should open a customer card right so i'm going to use a property called run object okay what this property will do is it will call an uh, another object when this action is performed okay so run object because we know that in business central we'll be considering table page everything as an object okay run object what you have to uh, run it so you can only use these objects here like either a coordinate it should be a page query report table or xml so i'm going to use a page and what page you're going to call okay so i'm going to call the customer card okay you have a customer card page so i'll be calling the customer card got it so this is what we are going to do let us execute this now okay let us save this we'll see what is the output for this okay so let us save this let us see whether the launch.json json is having this okay same let us save it and execute it so it started executing let us see what uh, how this action is added okay so here once you can see that in the previous video you can see only i have actions uh, uh, actions menu now it is it is also showing the related menu okay so if you click on that related menu you can see customer details okay so this customer detail is what i have written here okay so this is the caption customer details is my caption and that is the action which i'm going to click it if you click on this customer details 
it will take you to the customer card page okay it is showing the uh, information about the customer okay you can just visit the information about the customer here okay so even here in in this for example in this card okay in this related card if you want to just make multiple uh, pages to be displayed times okay so let us see, go and check here so if i wanted to embed multiple thing what i can do is i can just make it as a group okay under this area what i'm going to write is what i'm going to group it okay i'm going to group it i'm going to name it as uh, for example more information okay okay under this group what i'm going to do is what i can add a caption if you want okay uh, for example more data I can give a caption here and you can just make it under this group you can call this action okay group under this group you have to give another group name okay so i'm just giving this more details so we'll show you like how it is looking like okay so this is one close open close open close and then again here i have to close it okay so now let us see how it is exactly looking so here the previous uh, um, screen how we uh, how we used to see is what in the related directly it shows like a customer details right so now let us execute this code okay press control f5 and see how it looks like okay so in the related if you click it is showing more data right so it is like a sub menu okay you can see here that the caption which i have given here is the more data okay if you click on that more data you can see more details okay so this is what more details it's like grouping okay and under that more, uh, more details i can see the customer details okay so if you want to make it as a sub menu you can go with the grouping information okay group and you can just go ahead with the subgroup and everything fine so and another one if you wanted to add an another card okay so you can just make it as an another card for example i'm just giving customer uh, customer card is already there so i'm just giving sales and here i'm just making it into the sales detail and in the page i am just trying to give um uh, we will just give something else like okay let us check okay sales analysis you card okay so this i'm going to view it fine so what i am going to do is what this is under the menu i'll be getting these things okay so press and just save it and execute it to see how it works so here in the related if you click you can see that you have 
to actions okay if you click on sales detail it will redirect you to the sales analysis view called okay so if you click on the customer detail it will redirect you to the customer detail so if you feel like i don't want this much sub menus i want it directly it's better to remove this okay just directly make it as an actions okay under the action you have you have to close everything okay just to save it and now if you execute you can see the difference like how it is uh, showing without the menus and sub menu so if you wanted to group it then you have to go with the group that is if you wanted to make it as a menus and sub menu then you have to go with the um uh, thing like called uh, you have to go with the group group block or else you can directly um, proceed with the um, actions you can see that you have two cards okay customer details and sales details got it i hope you understand um, how to use the navigate uh, navigate and the actions okay this is a navigation area so likewise you can also try um with the area that is reporting okay you have to call the reporting so you will be create you will be already uh, you might have created the reports right and you have to call the reports like you can simply call run on objects okay so simple you can just you can explore with all the properties how to use the properties and how to make use of those properties better uh, for your project okay whatever it is like if you are using a business action then you should know the process of business that is what you are going to do with that okay what exactly the customer need what is the customer's business process got it so if you click here uh, it will show you that this is the customer detail okay so whatever the action you are going to do you should know the customer's business process like if you take a customer uh, uh, that is a customer card what are the navigation what is the, what are the actions you wanted to show it to them okay that is very very important and uh, uh, what are the essential in the next session the next video i'll be telling you how to uh, add the reporting before that if you can try adding a report and also uh, the document here and if you have any if you face any problem please comment it i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye